Hey everyone, today I want to talk about how to calculate the probability of being dealt exactly one card, one pair in a five card hand. So we are going to get five cards and in these five cards we want exactly one pair, right? So um, let's quickly talk about what these five cards are being dealt from. So they're going to be dealt from a deck of 52 cards. And what is a pair? A pair is two cards of the same rank. So that would be like a six of clubs and a six of spades. Uh, we need to make the assumption that the deck is shuffled. And how are we being given this cards? We're just going to draw five off the top of the deck. So let's go ahead and think about how we can calculate this. So So let's first start out by calculating how many ways are there of getting a pair, right? So I said we want to get exactly one pair in the five card hand. So how many ways are there for this to happen? Um, we have 13 ranks to choose from, and we want to choose one rank. Right. So from 13 ranks, we want to choose one. And there are four different suits. And each rank can take on one of the four suits. So we want to multiply the number of ways of choosing one rank from 13 ranks with the number of ways of choosing two suits from four suits. So it gives us this term right here and if we calculate this out it's going to be 13 times 6 which is equal to 78 so there's 78 ways of uh, getting a pair okay so the second thing we want to calculate is how many ways are there of getting three unpaired cards okay because ultimately we want to draw five cards and we want one of them to be, uh, we want two of them to be paired and the other three to be unpaired. In addition to this, the other three shouldn't pair with the existing pair. So from, but, but let's first just calculate the number of ways of getting three unpaired cards. So from 13 ranks, uh, if we want three unpaired cards, that means we want three different ranks. So we're going to do 13, choose three. And um, it doesn't really matter in this case which suit we choose for each of these three cards. We just want to choose one suit for each card. So we're going to do four, choose one. And since we're making this choice three times, we're going to cube this term. So if we calculate this out, um, I, we're going to get 286, which is 13 choose 3, times 4 cubed, which is 64, 
and it's a pretty big number. It's 18,304. Okay, so there's one important thing and about this. We calculated the number of ways of getting three unpaired cards, any three unpaired cards. What we didn't take into account is that we already have one pair. So how could we adjust this term to incorporate that piece of information? It's actually a pretty simple adjustment. We're going to take this first part of this term here and instead of doing 13 choose 3, we're going to do 12 choose 3. And everything else stays the same. So this expands out to 220 times 4 cubed and we can see that there is something like 14,080 ways of getting three unpaired cards that do not pair with the existing pair, right? So that's a very important condition because we want exactly one pair in the hand. So the change was to take this top number of the combination and change it from 13 to 12. And the reason why we did that is because we're taking out the rank of the pair that we already have. So if I already have two aces, I don't want to choose another ace for the th remaining three unpaired cards. I want to choose from two, two through king. So that's, that's the idea behind that change. Okay, so now we know the number of ways to calculate a pair. And we know the num number of ways to get three additional cards that uh, are unpaired and do not match our existing pair. So what's left for us to do? We actually don't have too much work left. And here's what we got to do. So the last, the second to last step here is to multiply these two numbers. And we're going to take, um, I'm going to write out the whole expansion again. So 13 choose 1 times 4 choose 2. Uh, that's the number of ways of getting exactly one pair. We're going to multiply this by 12 choose 3 times 4 choose 1 whole cubed. So that's the number of ways of getting three unpaired cards that don't match uh, any of the uh, that don't match the existing pair. So we want to take this these number of ways and and just think for a moment about the question, which is what is the probability of being dealt a five card hand with exactly one pair? So what we have on the numerator is the total number of ways of being dealt. Um, these five cards. So to get a probability we need to divide this number by the total number of ways of being dealt any five cards. So we're going to divide this and we have 52 unique cards in the deck. So we're going to divide this by 52 choose 5. So this is it. This is the entire expression, and we just need to calculate this. And if you run this through your calculator or whatever computing device you're using, you'll find out that this comes out to around 0.42, which is about 42%. Was that higher than what you expected? It was for me. All right, guys. Thanks for listening.